The city of Lakeland is a hub for all things art related. Murals, concerts, and even sculptures are celebrated here. So today I want to take a look at all the sculptures that are featured here around town. Let's chisel away at this form of art. Starting off, this is one of the most iconic sculptures in Lakeland. It's called the Tribute to Volunteerism and was sculpted by artist Albert Polly. This sculpture overlooks Lake Mir and was commissioned by the city in order to recognize the contribution of its volunteers. Did you know a simple obelisk was supposed to go here instead? Personally, I believe this sculpture gives such a great vibe and respect to its volunteers. Lemon Street has hosted some of the most memorable sculptures in Lakeland. This is all thanks to the Florida Outdoor Sculpture Competition. All these sculptures are featured in a special exhibit that rotates annually. I'm so excited to see what sculptures will be in next year's exhibit. The last piece I want to show off today is the gigantic dragon sculpture by Keith Williams. This piece was in partnership with the Prestige Worldwide Group, led by Gregory Fancelli. I love seeing all the beautiful artworks they help bring to our community, especially this one. Who would have known how significant these sculptures are to our community of creators? This town is truly a haven for all forms of art, and I can't wait to see everything that's yet to come. I'm Ian, reporting for Ignition TV. Good morning, Red Devils. I'm here at the Central Florida Zoo for this year's Asian Lantern Festival. With over 30 handcrafted lights, this event is perfect for a family get-together or a night out with friends. Central Florida Zoo is partnering with Tianyu Arts and Culture along with T-Mobile to bring this amazing festival to life. Every lantern is handcrafted and designed to celebrate the art, culture, and beauty of traditional lantern festivals celebrated all throughout Asia. This is a walking festival that stretches about three quarters of a mile and features live music, great food, and artesian crafts all throughout the zoo. In order to enter the festival, you'll need to purchase tickets online at centralfloridazoo.org slash lanterns. General admission prices range from $18 to $20 on select nights, and you can purchase tickets now until January 16th. Come check out the Asian Lantern Festival at Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Gardens before it's too late. I'm Ian, reporting for Ignition TV. These past two years, I've been thinking about college a lot. But with everything else going on, plus my own life, I see more chances of failure than success. It's all too much. The first step toward success is clearing your mind. Clearing my mind. You have to come into work. Ian, yeah, you're already three assignments, assignments behind, and now you're sleeping in class. You're come in and you have to come into work. Yeah, you're already three assignments, assignments behind, and you're the only one on the schedule. So come in. Stage one, relaxation complete. Honestly thought you had a chance of reaching your dreams. Failures ahead. Failures ahead. You're not worth it. You're not worth no! it! Trepidation. A feeling of fear or agitation about something that may happen. Kathleen's campus is covered in the names of some of the most notable staff and alumni. Unfortunately, there are only so many buildings, so there are several who go on to huge successes without the recognition that they deserve. So come with me today as I introduce you to one of those individuals that does not find their name posted here around campus. Stay tuned for this edition of What's in a Name. Welcome back, Kathleen. Today I'll take you back to the mid-90s, when a place kicker by the name of Paul Ettinger would be taking his next step towards the NFL. After his kicking success here at Kathleen High School, 
Ettinger received a full ride scholarship to Michigan State. While there, he would make one of the most notable kicks in Michigan State history against the Florida Gators in the Citrus Bowl. Just a few months later, the Chicago Bears would draft Ettinger. Ettinger made several clutch field goals in his time in the NFL, and he even became well known for his unique kicking style that is referred to as the corkscrew style. Ettinger would end his career with the Vikings in 2005, but he would go out with a bang, kicking the longest field goal in Viking history. A 56-yard shot would win the game against the Green Bay Packers. From the fields here at Kathleen to the fields of the NFL, Paul Ettinger's name is one to remember here at Kathleen High School. Hopefully next time you think of Red Devil football, Ettinger's name will come to mind. With this special What's in a Name segment, I'm Ian Pennypacker reporting for Ignition TV. This decade is shaping up to be a key moment in film history as it transitions us from the golden age of film to focus on darker themes that thrill and terrify the viewers. The stories of The Godfather, Halloween, and Star Wars will undoubtedly be seen as some of the biggest films of all time. However, for my journey today, we're going to need a bigger boat. Jaws is a thriller film directed by Steven Spielberg and stars actors Lorraine Gray, Robert Shaw, and Roy Schneider. The movie follows the team as they set out to capture a man-eating shark. Jaws is said to be one of the most influential films of all time. Spielberg definitely has a masterpiece here. While shark paranoia has always been somewhat present, it's clear Jaws was able to sink its teeth in our interest and isn't letting go anytime soon. I can only imagine how Jaws is going to increase the presence of shark themed media everywhere. Personally, I even think sharks deserve their own week. We may not always realize it, but the type of content we see has the ability to change the way we view the world. So grab a bigger boat and head over to Amity Island and check out this instant classic film. I'm Ian, reporting for Ignition TV.